And welcome back to the Morning Blend. Well, we asked you to share your pay it forward stories with us, and we got this wonderful response from a viewer, Ann Mulder Grittinger. Yeah, Ann says that her sister taught her about prayer shawl ministry. She actually knit a prayer shawl for a friend who was being treated for cancer. Her friend asked her for the pattern, and now she does prayer shawl ministry at her church, too, which is a wonderful way to help somebody and make them feel warm. I think it's a wonderful it's story to share. And St. Ann Salvatorian Campus has been offering long term care options for your loved ones for more than 138 years. Yeah, and they're small enough to feel like home, but large enough to offer a full spectrum of services. So joining us now with St. Anne's is Lynn Vote because St. Anne's has been sponsoring our Pay It Forward segments that we just shared with you for the last few months. And it's just really been inspiring to read all the stories. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for allowing us to be part of Pay It Forward. Mm -hmm. I think this time of year at Christmas time, it's such an important opportunity and a wonderful opportunity for us to let people know they matter. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, they matter to us, they matter to our families, they matter to our communities. And, mm -hmm. and so it, it's, it's really a wonderful energy to be part of something well, like it, that. It, it's true that if you do something kind for someone else, that person is gonna be inspired to, to be kind to, it, it is that, it has that ripple yeah, effect. Yeah, it's a gift given and received mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Talk a little bit about what you think of, of Pay It Forward and what, how you kind of do that within St. Anne's. Well, with, yeah, it's, it's really not, overestimating anything to say that St. Anne's would not be the home that it is, the ministry it is, without the kindness and love shown by thousands and thousands of people. We have our volunteers, which include a volunteer board of directors and committee members, you know, in people of business that, that help us with the leadership and sustaining the mission. Mm -hmm. But 130 full-time volunteers that pretty much every day of the week, they're doing everything from helping with the country store to helping with um, church services, resident activities, quality of life, and, and often in the, they also receive the gift of fellowship and being part of the family. Mm -hmm. So you end up having uh, hundreds of examples of, of people just being kind and saying, you matter. Mm -hmm. Is there a story recently that's kind of touched you? Uh, it's it's even not even that recently, but there is a resident, was a resident in assisted living, his name was Larry. And every morning, after breakfast, he would come to my office and he would say, good morning, Lynn. God loves you and so do I. Aww. And I would jump out of my chair and say, good morning, Larry. God loves you and so do I. Cute. And we'd hug. And I can tell you that that made a difference of how I approached the whole day mm -hmm. of what I did, how I acted, and how I felt inside. And I, you think of what that would mean if you, if every parent said mm -hmm. that to their child or a, a husband to a wife, that what a difference it could make, that act yeah. of kindness. That, and, and so Larry's now in heaven, but I can tell you that every day I say good morning to yes. him. That's <laughs> sweet. That I is a sweet that. story. Yeah, there's been this story going around Facebook where this husband would roll over every morning and say, you're the prettiest wife in the world to me. And it's kind of the one that's sort of going around on everybody's you know, page right sure. now. And so a sure. lot of people have seen it, but it's just that, it's that act of telling someone how much you care every day. When you talk about care for St. Anne's, that's something that you really strive to give to people the services the amenities the different things that you do what kinds of um, things do you provide for people that you care for well we are a ministry of the sisters of the divine savior they're salvatorian sisters so the salvatorians have have ministries all over the country actually in 28 con countries across the world in on five continents so we all take a different form of that ministry to make known god's love and goodness so for St. Anne's, I believe we are the finest retirement community ever. <laughs> <laughs> that might be just That's me. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> but a little bit it biased, isn't but even so much. I mean, we offer all the amenities, rehabilitation, assisted living, mm -hmm. you know, skilled nursing care. But it's, it's how we do it. There is uh, inherent love and kindness taking every opportunity every day amongst everyone. And everyone builds on that as a, as a St. Anne's family. We become a family in the truest sense of the word. Often many of our volunteers are, are daughters and sons of residents that have been there. 5, 10, 15. Mm -hmm. Dorothy just retired from Wednesday Bingo after 45 years. <laughs> oh my gosh. She has recruited 65 people over that 45 <laughs> years to help her with her bingo. And she's retiring, but the 
the, the bingo that she started yeah. on Wednesdays is continuing because of her, you know, yeah. of her energy and her commitment. And that's what makes a difference. That's something oh. that's hard to put into to writing when you're, mm -hmm. when you're talking about finding a place. But a lot of people will use the holidays or should maybe to have a conversation with a loved one yes. who maybe yes. needs to make a change and consider long-term care. Any suggestions you have quickly for how to start that conversation? Don't overthink it. Don't make it into an argument where mm. you have, this is the goal, we're going to talk to mother and have this, you know. M Mom. You matter to me. You matter to our family. We love you. We want you to have a quality of life. We want you to have um, safety, security, and have joy and meaning mm -hmm. in your life. And all I am asking right now, just let's go have lunch. Let's go have lunch at St. Anne's. Because often it's that fear of, they're putting me away. And yes. Uh, and fear of change. Nine times out of ten, they come for that lunch. And not with all the kids, you know, just a, a lunch in the dining room, in assisted living, and they see people from church, they see people that they've known when they were younger, and they see that how vibrant and full of life. It's like, oh, what do you do? And it's like, what do you mean, what do I do? I, you know, do you knit? Do you like to do this? And it's, it, th there's joy and yeah. meaning again. And that simple lunch plants that seed. Well, and I think people Great underestimate idea. the social part of oh, assisted yeah. living mm -hmm. and how important and meaningful that is. And that's one thing that you get, it sounds like, you know, so much of when mm -hmm. you consider something mm -hmm. like that. Thank you so much for sharing that story with yeah. us and for telling us more about St. Anne's. For people who are thinking about having a conversation, they just like to visit for lunch or have a tour there, you can call the phone number that's on your screen. It's 414-463-7570. They're located on North 92nd Street in Milwaukee. You can also visit them online. Thank you so much Thanks, and happy Lynn. holidays Thank to you. you. Thank you very much. Oh, and if you want to share a pay it forward story with us, you have to email us, send it to feedback at themorningblend.com and maybe we'll share your story here on The Morning Blend. Thanks again.